What's up guys, Lord Alley Card here again with a the part two of the three part series for DIY hacks from iosguys.com. Today I was gonna show you the game player slash local app store hacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Cydia. You will need to be jumper good for this. First off, I'll show you how to get game player once Cydia loads. Anyways, you want to go ahead and search over if you don't have it already. What is this from? There's multiple uh, resources you can actually get this from, but I got it from the Xerald uh, repo, which is an actually really good repo, which if you don't have it, you can go to sources, which y'all already know where that is. Go to edit, add, and it will be this little repo right here http colon forward slash forward slash repo dot dot com forward slash you can edit and there's a lot of stuff you can do freaking in here lots of hacks and whatnot but anyways once you add it it will appear right here well i have it right here but <clears throat> i'll go ahead and move it i'm trying to make a do there we go you can click on it and as you see it opens up if you look up in the upper right corner there will be this little arrow with a line at the tip you can click it and it will bring the game player into a little condensed form where you can move it around that's the upside of game player you can actually use it while you're in game so um, I'm gonna go ahead and hack a game with it real quick uh, Let's go ahead and hack Tankyo real quick. It's a little simple online game. I'm just going to show you how to hack it. Whatever. I uh, don't know if I can actually. Go ahead and. Game player is a simple little hacking tool. Um, with game player, you can stay in the game and actually mod your values at the same time. Oh, please don't attack me. I'm not trying to freaking. Can you not? I'm probably gonna die. Don't want to fight y'all. Sweet. In War Dragons, there are Don't care about your goddamn ads. We're going for a legendary dragon right now. After using our egg tokens, Fuck is you and your goddamn game. Sweet. Try this again. So, anyways, with game player, you can uh, search. D word is gonna be your like main source of searching I didn't know why I clicked that but um, anyways I'm gonna search for four or five actually D word then let's break this down please leave me alone come on dude I'm not trying to freaking leave me alone I'm trying to show a video on how to hack with game player here, people. I'm a small little tank. Leave me alone. Come on, dude. Run away. Sweet. Seven. There you go. See, seven. Let me, uh... Okay. Three. And then let it do its thing real quick. Hopefully I don't die while I'm trying to... There's a 5 to 8 second delay when you're trying to freaking do this. But you can just do this. And there you go. See? Now I have all these little... Okay, tokens. Get out of here. Now you just go in here and wreck some stuff up. Get out of here. 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 So you're just like wrecking people now. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll probably die, but. But as you can see, I'm pretty much just like leveling up. I'm about to hit level 20. Man, 
<laughs> These guys suck. <laughs> I'm just sitting here wrecking them. I'm gonna come get you. Wrecked. But yeah, that's a simple uh, tutorial on how to freaking use game player. It it's reliable with the fact that you can't you don't have to leave the game. But then it's kind of unreliable with the fact that uh, freaking. Uh, you want to go, bud? Wow, I just wrecked you. <laughs> um, it's real. It's freaking reliable with the fact that you don't have to leave the game. Not trying to freaking get me. Get over here. Get away from me. But, uh, game player is reliable with the fact that, I, I keep saying it, that you don't have to leave the game. But, also, sometimes you can't search certain values on freaking Game Gym. So, sometimes you have to use, uh, freaking game player. Because, like, hold on. Let me break these people real quick. Oh, you're fast. The freaking, uh... Yeah, anyways. But, anyways, uh... Like, you can't change float values in, uh... Freaking Game Gym. Because I guess that feature hasn't been implemented yet. But with Game Player, you can. Uh... As you... Well... If I could get into an app... Here, I'll just get in this app real quick. And I'll show you. See, you have this little three slot page. It tells you home page, help, exit, set up application. You can select that app you're in, which is Tankio. And then you have your little search values. Float is a big one that you can use sometimes de depending on what you're trying to change. But D word is going to be your basic word and byte you're not going to see. It's like very rare. Then you have your little X, which resets. Like you search that and you can press X and it deletes all the items. This is just hide the keyboard. This is if you like go and freaking uh, go search this D word and then you can click on it and uh, lock. See, it has this little <laughs> button up here that says next operation. You can modify, store, or lock. So you can modify and store freaking that. And then you go over here and the little arrow and it see it's stored or locked. So <clears throat> then you have this, which this isn't in this version, but you can add hex addresses, which I really don't deal with that. But that's a basic tutorial on uh, freaking how to play or not how to play, how to use game player. And then now I'm going to show you local iApp store. Which is from the same repo that I mentioned earlier, the Xerold uh, repo, as you have right here. Well, I have it from Bite Your Apple. You can also get it from the uh, uh, Xerold repo, I'm pretty sure. If you go over to Tweaks and go to the L's, pretty sure it's in here. I haven't actually looked. Yeah, see, it's right here. Local app store allows for free in-app purchases depending on the game, like uh, tap Piano Tiles 2, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Piano Tiles 2. <laughs> I can do free in-app purchases. Wait, actually, hold on. You have to go to your settings to activate local app store once you install it, actually. It'll be right here. Usually, you only need this little enabled tab on generate customer seat I really don't know what it's for it's just there it really serves no purpose but um, freaking piano tiles 2 is one of those games where freaking local app store works so you have 13,684 click on the 110 press cancel to trick it and see I got 13,794 Click it again. Freaking 1,904. 
I'm just gonna see click it again and you're like oh cool now I have 14,000 that's just a basic local app store that's all it is but hope you all enjoyed the freaking uh, tutorial on how to do your own game player DIY and hope you enjoy